on things a little bit different today. Um, our topic, we have the unfortunate passing of Tracy Braxton, the disappearance of Alexis Ware, also the singer and chef Khalees, her husband passed away. His name is uh, Mike Mora. He passed away from stomach cancer mm -hmm. um, this past um, week. Also Kanye West and his continued dispute with everybody else in the industry. Mm -hmm. Basketball star Brittany, um, she is detained in Russia still mm. and she has pled guilty. Yeah, they extended her stay too. Yeah, yeah. And then the army surgeon that killed his girlfriend because she laughed at him when he professed his love and much, much more. Um, I do want to top it off with giving our condolences to the Braxton family. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Um, Tracy was my favorite. Yeah, she was awesome. Yeah, she, she was, was so awesome. Funny. She told I don't, me like it was. I don't, yeah, I, was so I don't have a favorite, but I love Like, her. she was my favorite in the sense that she seemed so humble and normal. Yeah, yeah. Like, unlike, you know, the superstars like Tamar and Tony, like, she was just very humble and nice and funny. She was yeah. really funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Um, her son, well, first of all, let me get a little, uh, the background of it. She was battling, um, cancer for like the past year yeah. and she was 50 years old. Um, what it is, it's kind of like the tooth between the stomach and the, the esophageal. Mm. Yes. And that's where her, her cancer, um, started from. And I, I hate how a lot of people, cause no one, no one in the public knew about her, um, Battle, battling cancer mm -hmm. and so it was a lot of people she posted herself at her son's wedding when they mm -hmm. got married criticizing her weight loss mm -hmm. same like, thing they did to Chadwick Boseman yes. Mm -hmm. yes that's why you shouldn't be judging yeah people. you shouldn't you, you never know, know what somebody goes yeah. through mm -hmm. um, they were saying oh she's real skinny is she on drugs and see and it's always the go to why mm -hmm. is that always the go to and she was um dealing with her, her weight anyway, yeah. you know, she mm -hmm. had lost a lot of weight prior to being diagnosed with um, stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. So just looking back, I was like, wow, like you really don't know what people are, are going through. Mm -hmm. If someone and seems slim or sickly, the, I'm not going to think to disparage them or say anything bad about them. You never know what somebody is going through. That's very sad mm -hmm. that that happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. So again, condolences to the Braxton family and yeah. all of her friends, her loved ones, um, yeah. her kids, you know, her grandbaby. Her son, one, yeah. one son, he posted a sweet, a sweet message to her. And yeah. So did um, Tony. Her and husband. Her husband. Kevin mm -hmm. Senior. Yeah. Just, just tragic. Yeah. And then um, a week later, it was Tamar's birthday. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I'm pretty sure that's going to have an impact on her. Um, Probably for the rest of her life, right. yeah. you know, dealing with your the loss of your sister mm -hmm. every year, and then a week later it's your birthday. I was yeah. able to to celebrate uh, myself with that. Mm -mm. So, and then we we're saying earlier, um, Khalees. A lot of you may know her from the song "My Milkshake Bring All the Boys to the Yard." Oh. I'm, I'm bossy. Yeah. And, uh, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> Clock out there is uh -huh. what that was called. Her um, husband, who was a photographer, his name is uh, Mike Mora. He passed away after battling stage four stomach cancer. He was cancer. only like 37. Oh, yeah. wow. That's so sad. And they um, said that a lot of that stemmed from, I think, once they had moved to a farm um, about probably like 18 months ago. That the doctor gave him about 18 months ago. So probably like two years ago. They moved out to a farm. And, you know, Khalees is a, sh a chef. And he just kept getting, you know, sick. And he didn't know why he was feeling ill. So finally he decided to go to the doctor. And I, I made it like diagnosed it with stage four stomach cancer. Mm. Yeah, it got to the point where it was like, yeah. Like it was a miracle. He was, he was weak. He was always in pain. Oh, that's so sad. Mm -hmm. And he seemed like a really good nice guy. guy yeah. They have, I believe they have two kids together, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's I know she has one. She has one kid with uh, Nas. Mm -hmm. The 12, her 12-year-old. 12, 12 and then I don't know how many other kids she had with him. They had two, a girl and a boy. Um, but yeah, my condolences to his family. Yeah, and to her. And he was right. keeping everyone updated. Like he was posting, like I know it was a, he posted a picture of him being, um, on the gurney rolled into the yeah. critical 
um, what, what would you call it? The intensive care yes, unit. unit. And he was saying like the, the fight continues. I know he made it to the year mark, the 12 month mark. He was saying like, it's getting real, he's getting scared. So then he gave him 18 months to live. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. So that's, that's really. And just imagine yeah. somebody telling you, mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't want to know. Mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't want to know. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I would not want, like, you know, like, kind of like now, how you kind of wait, can't wait for the week to go through so you can have yeah. the, whatever days you have off, like, you work the week, or whatever it is, how you kind of want your week to rush through. Mm-hmm. I think if I would only had a few months to live, I would hold on, like, literally each day was my last day because that's what it kind of turns out to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I couldn't even imagine doing that. Yeah, yeah. that's sad. Um, okay, so I do want to move along. So, a lot of people probably watch Jocelyn's Cabaret. Oh <laughs> my god, we've been watching it. It's our guilty pleasure. <laughs> it is. She's been had three seasons. I think the first season was in Miami, the second season was Atlanta, and then this current season that um, is airing on Zeus is um, Las Wait. Vegas. They keep throwing her out of them states with her. <laughs> She's ratchet. She is out of control. It's sad that I, you know, I didn't watch the season because I feel like she just be getting them girls to fight them and stuff. And yeah. then she built like a damn man. She says she almost six foot, 200 pounds. Yeah, she's okay. six foot, 200 pounds. Now that's she, a man. She stacked. <laughs> she stacked. Yes. Yeah. And the thing that really bothers me is she's a bully. She yeah. Is. As much as yeah. we love the show, She's a bully. Like yeah. she, she is a real life bully. She yep, claims that's the why show I is about. Don't watch it. She claims the show is about women empowerment and putting opportunities for these mm-hmm. women. But all she do is tear them down. Yeah. So like behind the scenes, she talking mad shit about them. Hell, even the winner of her show last season, when she told her she was winning, she called her a big belly something. A big belly hoe. A big the yeah. Whole she's, season. Uh, what is the girl's name? I can't remember what her name is, but oh uh, what is her name? Uh, shit. Chanel. Chanel. I don't know her. Chanel. It's like T S O for last name, so like what Chanel so the T party some whatever. shit like that. But, but she won last season. She was like the underdog um, yeah. for season two Atlanta, and when she won the ten thousand dollars, Jocelyn was like, "I everybody thought she was." And that's all you know? get for being degraded. <laughs> <Pretty> <laughs> shit, Mm-mm. and a chance to shake your ass and a bunch of and and a bunch of strangers. <laughs> Jocelyn is just really, she's a bully. Yeah, she said, and then even she came on this season, this new season, and and Jocelyn has just been a total bitch to her. I don't even know why. I wouldn't even be there. I don't know why these girls go on the show. I don't know. Because she nice to them until they go to the reunion. You know, she she be mean to them. She's not a fight on the reunion. Be nice in front of their face and then yeah, behind them. Yeah, like, she do her confessionals. Yeah. It'd be, she talk a lot of trash. Mm, that's what she used to do on Love and Hip Hop. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, but apparently things got heated at the reunion. They filmed it the, during this past week. And, um, of course, they went on a lot of girls, like Amber Ali went on live. Mm-hmm. Um, Lexi, Lexi Blow. Lexi Blow, Kate Capri, they were on live. Saying like what happened at the reunion. Apparently, Jocelyn was attacking everybody. She did. She didn't um, hide it. Like I have shown up now um, her tweets. She was like, "Keep crying from your hospital bed with your broken ribs. One kick, you flew into the next day. World combat kick. Asshole. Oh wow! Yeah, like didn't her Didn't stuff. her boyfriend jump in and pull yeah, somebody yeah. here? Well, or the something? Amber, Amber yeah. Apparently, um, I think. If I'm not mistaken, on the video we're gonna watch, I think K. Capri said somebody choked Amber. Yeah, that, 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 Amber uh, she, he said she said ballistic grab her mm-hmm. by the neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so let me just go ahead and start playing. Off the couch, I'll tell her. Rhea was didn't even say nothing. She was sitting there just looking cute and pretty. She gonna pull her, then kick her, kick her in her fucking stomach, and then uh. Then one of the other little minions gonna go behind and try to and try to run up on Riri and let me, let me ask this: How did he snatched it up? And I'm suing for emotional distress because you took the last edges that I had left. So yeah, I knocked Jocelyn out, ballistic attacked me.
right with you because I'm your witness. I saw the whole thing happen. Okay, Capri, am I tweaking? What the fuck just went down? Like, Girl, I saw the whole thing happen. I saw the shit right before my fucking eyes. What happened? Now, I'm going to let Capri tell y'all. Security was holding me back. Um, me too. No, but you were tagging Jocelyn. You was tagging Jocelyn, and Ballistic got mad. And he pulled up. Damn, bitch, we got 794 people in this bitch. He pulled up and choked you and slapped you. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he pulled your hair out. He pulled your hair out. Yeah, he pulled my hair out. We fell on the floor. He a bitch. He didn't, he didn't like seeing Jocelyn hit the flow. Nobody never saw Jocelyn hit yeah, the flow. Yeah, yo, that's what you did. You knocked her out. You punched her and exactly. she fell. That's what happened. Exactly. You I punched her and she fell. Out, bro. She was and so Ballistic rushed me. Shot. She was so shocked. Yeah, she was that's shocked. I got the nails for she real. real. All right. So, let's see. 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 But K Capri and Amber Ali and Rex and Glow all went on live to just kind of state what happened. Um, and I feel like, shoot, Jocelyn give it to people. Mm -hmm. She deserved to get it. She mm -hmm. deserved to get it too. Mm -hmm. um, she was a hot mess on um, Love, Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. And she didn't have that kind she, of smoke for time. Now I see why she was bullying them girls. But she didn't have that smoke for time. Uh, uh, she, no, she, she responded to it. Uh, about it the, yeah, she uh, did. She responded she did. to all of this happening saying, uh, well, you called the police on me. You big and bad with these girls, but you didn't have nothing for me. She said, I had to bail myself out of jail and pay these fines. I want my money back. That's what Tommy said. Jocelyn, she know what she wants to mess with because she showed knew not to fuck with Tommy. <laughs> she know the right one. She should have left that one alone that knocked her down. Amber, well, she she didn't feel threatened by Amber, but she she didn't feel threatened by the girl she calls EJ either, K Capri. She didn't feel threatened by her either. For, um, um, EJ uh, Magic Johnson's yes, son. She yes. calls her EJ because she's tall and she got the hair like short him. haircut. Mm -hmm. But she laughed in her face. Remember when Jocelyn got in her face and was like, I'm not scared of you either just because you're tall. I'll whoop your ass. And she laughed in her face. Jocelyn, she was like, how dare she laugh at me? But she didn't say nothing right there while she was laughing because that's a big woman. And I think <laughs> Jocelyn is um, fake. She is. Because yeah. like I was saying earlier, how she'll say one thing in front of everybody face and then in her behind the scenes else. yep and then just like it was a situation on the show where i can't even remember the girl name but she kept using the n-word and she's not something black. diamond um i think she is cuban or something like that or she puerto says, rican she's puerto rican or something and like that she kept saying the n-word and she was saying in front of jocelyn too but when she was brought up just was like oh you said n-word like girl you know she said it she said, oh, <laughs> right like, right she knows how to quit by you you all surprised right but um, I think it's a hot message. It's very entertaining. The show's very entertaining. Um, Zeus did release a statement saying that, said that they don't condone violence and men, you know, hitting women. You know, but they said that on Chance thing. They, always they just that. love this, to say that. They, they condone do. that shit. Because they, they kept letting them girls fight like, on Chance reunion. Yeah, yeah. They like do. I posted that. I put the picture. Did of, you? Um, oh, my God, what's her name? When she got, when she got attacked by all those girls. From Jocelyn's show, remember she the wig cap. She wet, was sitting there, wet, 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 wet. She was sitting there on the couch with her wig cap, and then the they got a bad boys club. The guys was fighting. I posted. I said Zeus, we don't condone violence, but then also Zeus. And mm -hmm. I put the pictures like y'all do. Cause yeah, know they do. It's like Jerry Springer. Everybody yep. attacked that poor girl. Everybody attacked wet, that girl with everybody hates what what she wasn't there. Maybe well I wouldn't have went if I was her because they just hated her for no reason because she was just she was over the top, but I don't Why think did it they was hate her Nisi? Because she was I wet, wet. wet. <laughs> she was wet, wet. That's what she used to say. She said. That's That's right. I stay wet. Yes. Uh, but I'm gonna not to be a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm gonna tune in too. We we like we watch that stuff for but, research purposes so we can bring this to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so moving up, moving along, I want to talk about Kanye. We talk about Kanye mm. every week. That's because Kanye does something every week. Yeah, every day. Um, so he had a few things to get off his chest. Um, he, you know, made a post about Pete Davidson. He did the little um, picture like clay models of him cutting off Pete's head. His video for um, Coachella. And then um, he talked about Trevor, Trevor Noah. Basically um, calling him a coon. He, which is very, very, very 
very the what nerve kind of him. Think he is? Yeah, like the nerve of him he calling went Trevor to the Noah. whole coon family. <laughs> right, like you calling somebody a coon the nerve. Mm-hmm. The nerve. That is nervy. But you know, he had the nerves to make them ugly ass shoes and they had the nerves hey, to buy them. You sound like DL. <laughs> okay, because Kanye posted about DL. He was like, um, this grown ass man picked out this outfit out himself. Is he influential or is he under the influence? <laughs> and then um, he also said, funny thing, this is from Kanye talking about DL. Funny thing is, we'll probably end up being friends. I used to mm. defend this. N word. Mm. Um, back when he had work, like, nah, he funny. You just gotta watch it one trillion times to get it. Mm. You know. So he was he was throwing. Sorry. And then yeah. also he gave out his address on Instagram. Yes. And a lot of celebrities are doing that when they have beef with another celebrity, they tend to give their address. Which is that's, that's dangerous. dangerous. That's yeah. dangerous. Why you're putting people? But in you danger. know, I hate to say this, but if I would have some dough. When they came you to my address, I'd have me a social, i have me some security out there. Right, you be ready for them. Like, well, yeah. I'm at the window with the machine gun. Come to my house. Mm, I just, <laughs> I mean, people that scandalous to do that, though. Yeah. But then can't people kind of Google? Not where you live. What's his name? Google where I live. I didn't tell him. Who? Remember that guy that brought me that burger from uh, Tommy's and Kelly? Oh, oh yeah, your friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. But you would think being a celebrity that they would protect you more. Yeah, Yeah, because, I mean, you have a way of making yourself unlisted. You know, I kind of work in this field of work. If you're listed in the directory, your address is usually entailed. And Mm -hmm. that happened, um, like, you know, back in the day, like in the 70s and 80s, there was a lot of actresses that would be killed from Killed from, like, remember that one actress who was just a young, she was only in her 20s. She was on that show. My sister saying, yeah, yeah, and uh, how her fan came to her mm-hmm. door and shot and killed her. So it's, it, it gets serious. You may think you're just talking trash and playing around, but it's people out there. They have mental issues. Yeah, and they'll take including you. Kanye. Yeah, but Kanye ain't no. If somebody take him serious over DL, which he been talking about people from day one. That's so his niche. Yeah, he should. Kanye really should just leave him alone. Even Steve Kanye Harvey got said. Some, he got some mental issues. Well, like when that's he came out with them saying. shoes, and when the people <laughs> got them shoes, I knew that, that brother was you, gone. That's funny. But Steve Harvey responded. He said to Kanye, "He said this ain't what you want. DL is old school." And he said, "And, and then truthfully, if I, if the, y'all were to ever ever face to face and physically fight, I'm betting on DL. DL whoop your ass." Mm-hmm. All right. Well. Dio did respond. This video did. is almost five minutes. So okay. we, we got some time. So we're, we're going to play it for you. Man, and Mary J. Blige, how dare Kanye talk about the way I dress? I'm dope. Are you crazy? <laughs> Are you trying? Uh, do you see him? You see him? We had that big ass sweatshirt on and them short, with the, like, as big as he is talking about the way I dress? Now we know all them voices have room. That's crazy. It, it, it is a thing that I find ironic. He's arguing with me about a woman neither one of us had. Yeah, look, you know, I don't know if as Kanye says that um, God doesn't love me. I've often asked that question myself, but I do know this, that if you have such a connection to God and you're such a conduit to him that you can summarily uh, have him omit, omit um, great, his grace from me, then that wouldn't be a God that would be a hit man. I don't know if my family, as you say, doesn't love me. I've asked that question before, too, but I do know that I can go home without somebody calling the police. You say I'm broke, but I know that you're broken. You say I'm a has-been, but I know you never have been happy. This is, a, this is an incarnation of the same guy that we see all the time. But you know and I know that it is the empty wagon that makes all the noise. All of the threats, all of the complaints, all of the, 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 the curious things you do. Like, you, interestingly, you said, well, well, we'll probably end up being friends after I, I, I can explain your joke. Well, you can explain my jokes. How come you can't explain your behavior? You are acting in a way that I have said and say over again is dangerous. And every day it is teaching young boys and young girls that this is appropriate. Every day we hear a story about some dude that picked up a gun and shot some girl or hurt some girl or did something because they think it's appropriate. It is not. It is not okay. If, if you, if, as you say, we're going to be friends one day, you could never be my friend acting this way. It is inappropriate and it is dangerous and it's scary. 
And there are people, and if people really love you, all these people who say will kill for you, if they'll twist, peel a cat from you, how come they won't push one down, twist it up, and oh, and get, get your medication out? They won't do that? You, you, you have managed to grow bigger than mostly any star ever has, and smaller as a man at the same time. All of the, you're fighting, you're fighting Trevor Noah, you're fighting magazines. What you want is something you're not getting back. And if it's the God that you believe in, if that God you serve and always are talking about, maybe this is your trial. Even Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days. Maybe this, Job had trials, but it's the way you handle it. You get to act stark, raving mad, and your cult pretends like it's okay, and it is not. You can, der you can deride anybody you want. I tell you this. I tell you this. I'm a man who can say honestly, that I'm the man now that the little boy I was always wanted to be. Can you? Can you say that? All of your money, all of your power, all of your fame, does it satiate you? He don't got a lot of money. Look where he is. The, the truth of the matter is as big as you are, as small as you're acting. You've decided to make this a spectacle for your own benefit. And there's nothing godlike in that at all. You've decided that you want what you want at all costs, and you rend and you tear to get it. And all the whole time, people enable you by telling you, oh, it's just him. Oh, it's just. So the truth of the matter is, if, if a woman were acting just like you, they would already be in a conservatorship. Ask Britney Spears. Ask Wendy Williams. People abide you, and it's dangerous. It's setting a dangerous precedent. If you can talk those people into wearing them stupid-ass Yeezys you wear, you can talk them into hurting somebody. You are people, pe person people look up to, and you've decided to act like this all the while while you are uh, extolling the virtues of God. What God? What, 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 what is that God like about that? You don't want, oh, you're a pawn for the left. It wasn't me who said that black people, so, well, slavery was a choice. I'm a pawn for the left. It wasn't me that said Harry and Tubman didn't free nobody. She just said on the white work for the white man. It wasn't me that wore uh, Trump of Donald, uh, hat from Donald Trump, the mo one of the most racist, vile people ever. It was you. You have a lot of fans and a lot of people live by that. I will not. The, the fact that you would give my uh, my address out to people and I'm getting threats to this day is unconscionable and I do not forgive it. Man to man, I don't, fa I don't fear any man on the face of the earth, especially you. If I had a problem with you, I would never say I'm going to send my goons. It would be me that saw you. You're small and you're acting smaller and you're diminishing whatever legacy you have in front of our very eyes. Look, Kanye, if Jesus can walk, you can too. Of course, it'd be harder with those I know what you did last summer boots on. That's a little note from the GED section. We got a jazz report coming up in 15 minutes. All right. So, um, he got him. He got yeah, him. He did. He ill let Kanye have it. And he, he deserved, deserved every piece of them skipping past. intelligent, professional man. Yeah, he yes, did. Yes, he did. Um, I don't have anything else to He's, say about He was that, very but... calm for somebody that. Uh, to speak to somebody that had gave out his dress, put his family at risk. Mm -hmm. Like if what if some people came to his house, that's like that's dangerous. Nobody, Dio, don't, I don't think nobody paid that man no attention. But Dio is but way more is, respectful than it is I weirdos out there. You There's know? weirdos out there. He should go to jail now. He threatened him and his family. Why ain't Kanye in jail? <laughs> They put me in jail. They and did I'll, for threats. Yeah. I didn't even threaten her. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what they called it. But terroristic what threat. did Kanye just do to that him? Why ain't he in jail? Giving out his address. He should be terrible. going to jail. Yeah, I agree. And he recently, Kanye got banned from the Grammys because, yep. and all Trevor from Noah did, yeah, from his, what he said about Trevor Noah, and Trevor Noah is the host of the Grammys this year. Kanye was supposed to perform. They banned him from the Grammys because of the shit he's been saying online. He also got blocked on Instagram where he couldn't post for 24 hours. I don't know if that's Whoa, been lifted yet. 24 but, hours. But yeah, just 24 yeah, hours. Kanye but fuck around and start his own uh, social media platform. Well, that's what they're saying they're going to do. And uh, <laughs> that's what they're saying he's going to do. But uh, this is what I have a problem with right here because I'm coming across this a lot on social media, people defending Kanye and his, his behavior and using his mental illness as an excuse. That's no fucking excuse. Just like DL said, that's not an excuse. Why isn't people, if y'all love him and y'all care about him, make him take his fucking medication. Yeah, and help him. Help he, him. If right. y'all say he, he needs help, he needs help. Obviously, he needs medication. Right. Why aren't y'all forcing him to get his medication? Somebody shit. I want Kanye in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Just and like, oh, he just trying to there. tear the black man down. They just trying to, I don't give a fuck if he's black. Fuck him he being did, black. He, he the coon. 
Now, he, he, he wasn't acting black when he had all that money, singing Gold Digger. He was yeah. acting black with Jamie. Him and Jamie Foxx went yeah, to well, white women. Know, and that's what he did. Jamie did it too. Mm-hmm. But Kanye did it and now he's dealing with that and y'all want the black See community to rescue him. See what happens when you leave a black girl for a white woman your But y'all ass want the black crazy. community to rescue him? No, I want them white fools to rescue him. <laughs> That's what him. I think. They should rescue him. What the fuck we got to do with this? And uh think about Jamie. I think he I think he's one I like of the Jamie. ones who used to say black I girls like him too. Didn't want to date him when he was younger. No, he also said that he used to date fat black girls and that they would walk around like the number ten. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of black guys say that, like a lot of celebrities. Oh, you know, when I was that nerd shit is a bullshit. <laughs> I can speak for like that. A, nope, I can speak know, for that. As a nerdy black girl, I grew up a nerd my whole life. I was rejected from everybody. Black, all the black dudes did not like me because I was a nerdy girl. So that's fucking bullshit. And I don't, you don't see me out here complaining about black dudes didn't like me because I don't give a, a fuck. Too. You were uh, a hot nerd, though. You walking around <laughs> the hills. <laughs> I was a chubby, you know, dressed like a boy tomboy. You had on heels and was pretty. But I was a, uh, thank you, sis. But anyways, I was the nerdy girl who dressed like a boy. And dudes weren't fucking with me. And I don't hold resentment for that like a lot of these I other dudes I hope not, because do. them dudes that wasn't fucking with you didn't need to be fucked with <laughs> anyway. Them bums. No, yeah. I know, Ma. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying, I didn't hold... Uh, that didn't right. affect me. Oh, you know, like, yeah. That didn't yeah. affect me yeah. as an adult. Like, I'm, you you will never see me, oh, I'm this way because they didn't like me when I was in high school. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm a grown-ass woman, dog. What the fuck is what I had to deal with in high school? I have to do with my life now. True. <laughs> okay, well, speaking, because DL did make a point about how um, in that video that he addressed Kanye, he was saying how you got guys out here killing women. That's true. So I want to go to this our story. next topic, yeah. um, that an army surgeon killed his girlfriend because she laughed at him when he professed his love. So her name is um, Antra Gunn. She's a Fort Valley State University student. And apparently um, she was found dead in a wooded area of Crawford County, Georgia, days after she was reported missing on Valentine's Day. And this occurred in 2020. Um, her boyfriend at the time, who was the Army Sergeant, Demarcus Little, was arrested and charged with her murder days later. Um, text messages between the two show that Gunn was trying to distance herself from the relationship for months. But after Little tried to commit suicide, she continued communicating with him, which I, I get like the guilt She felt bad. Yeah. Um, on Friday, one of Little's closest friends, Javon, testified that his friend confessed to strangling Gunn to death after she laughed in in his face while he allegedly professed his love to her on Valentine's Day. Um, you know, I don't care if um, someone don't want to be with me, even if I do try to profess my love, it's like, yeah. and they don't, they're not receptive of it, I'm not about to kill them. I wouldn't even profess my love. My, my way for anything. So I'm just saying, like, no, I wouldn't, but I'm just saying, if I was in that situation and I was yeah. that type of person, I could never see myself harming someone because right. they don't have mutual felt the same feelings. There's one thing that I would like to point out about this is that this man was in the army. He was mm-hmm. vetted mm-hmm. by the U.S. government for being stable, mm-hmm. for having enough sound in mind to work in the military. I just want to point that out. There was no mental illness. There was no mental <laughs> illness. There was no, he was what they call, you know, in a sense, a high value man. Integrity, you know, working for uh, working for his country, defending his country, mm-hmm. you know what they consider good men. I just mm-hmm. wanted to point that out. And you know, a lot of people would probably say that his mental illness was um, triggered yes. from him being in the military, PTSD. Well, well I was going to say um, not that, but he acted on his emotions. He did versus um, his logic. mental state of mind. Yes, so I guess people would argue that certain circumstances, certain situations have an effect on your mind, your, your, you know, your state of mind. But I still don't agree with him killing her, especially if she was still being cordial and holding conversations with him and still being involved in his life. And that's that. where we mess up at. Women, stop it. Let these toxic men go. Because he was clearly abusive that. to her. Yeah, like he couldn't, he couldn't accept that. 
I, I mean, a friendship is better than nothing, you know. No, don't even give them friendship no, because that's I'm, why they feel entitled, and I'm that's saying, why shit like this I'm happens. For him, like if she was still willing to be your friend, yeah, you but they don't look at it. They feel why entitled. Why you have to date somebody? Yeah, that they feel entitled. It's the entitlement. So no, I give a damn. So I'll, I'll cut you off in a second. I will too. <laughs> I don't give a damn. I will cut I everybody will, off. You know? I sure the fuck will. Um, but also a lot of guys were responding to this topic. Yes, and we had um. A response that was captured by Baller Alerts. Also, I have to credit them for the for catching this because um, it was on their tweet Twitter. Yes, um, the guy stated maybe he was just having a bad day, looking for a soft shoulder to cry on, and it was another rock. He decided that he had enough and killed her. Ladies, let this be a lesson that we will never be equal because you can't ever be a man in rage. And for this fact, choose respect. Ain't that some shit right there? Yeah. That pissed me off to no end seeing that comment. Mm. That pissed me off to no end for the simple fact that instead of saying men need to stop, and y'all can't claim women are the emotional ones, but y'all are literally defending a man who acted out of emotion and killed somebody. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, no, fuck respect, get a gun. Nick, get, get a gun. Out. Get, your get out. a gun and shoot motherfuckers that feel that they're entitled to your respect. We can't say too much. How we about that? Won't, won't give it a post. How about but. that? If she had a gun, she would be alive today and he would be dead. That's what we need to take into account for. Said, oh, it's, you see how crazy women are. Oh, like, well, I, and, and, women, and, I'd rather and, it be that than for women to be mm-hmm. dying at the hands of these men yeah. that feel entitled. Yeah, I'm just saying, what, I'm just saying like, pointing out no, you're how right. we have received you're the right. same you're treatment right. that we've right. been you're right. criticizing us more. You're absolutely right. But that pissed me off. The, there are a lot of men that checked him in the comments of this well, tweet. There were a lot of men that told him he sounded like a psychopath. But there was also a lot of men agreeing with him. There were a lot of men agreeing with him, a lot of men saying that, yeah, women, this is what we mean by we're not equal. And then these men that go out of their way to try to tell women we're not equal, you know what, you're, you're right, we're not equal. We're above y'all. We're above y'all. We're clearly stronger than y'all. We give birth to babies. We clearly can handle emotion a lot better than y'all have. So if y'all don't want to be equal, then let me tell the truth. We better than y'all. Women are better than men, period. And if you uh, argue me down about it, and I can prove otherwise to you, women are stronger than men. Men no, can't even get a cold. Like men can't even get a cold without their wife c- catering to them in the bed while she's fucking sick. She's managing children, going to work, taking care of everything. Yes, women are stronger than y'all, and y'all beating y'all chest to my. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. It, it ain't helping. It ain't gonna make a difference. So stop it. And then y'all excusing men's horrible behavior, whether it be Kanye, whether it be this army sergeant who killed a woman because she didn't want to deal with his abusive behavior. And y'all want to talk about who should be the leaders of the community? Clearly not Mm y'all. Y'all don't deserve to be the leaders of the community, and y'all clearly aren't strong enough. And then this bothers me. Y'all want to coddle these men. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to coddle these men like they're infant babies. But tell them that they're leaders and they're kings and they're strong. And bullshit. Stop fucking coddling these men and stop and start telling them the truth. Stop trying to blame women for everything. That, oh, women need to be held accountable. Clearly, we're the only ones taking accountability. Y'all can't even hold yourselves accountable for the shit y'all do. I agree. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of men using their fuck. oh, my pain, my hurt. We all been hurt. All of us have been hurt at some point in our lives. It's how you deal with it. Like D.L. Hughley said, even Jesus had to walk in the wilderness for 40 days. Mm-hmm. And if you can't fucking handle a little bit of trauma to the point where you have to harm somebody or hurt somebody, that's a problem with you, not society. It's you. Well, I agree. I ain't got nothing to say. I agree. <laughs> I agree, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to, that, like, sent me over the edge because seeing that and the people agreeing with that really pissed me off. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have anything else, Janice, you want to discuss? Oh, uh, well, actually, no. We'll talk about that in another show. You sure? Yeah. Do you have anything else, Mom? Oh, no. You sure? Yep. Everybody sure? Yeah. Closing uh, statements on any of the topics from anybody. I don't have any um, closing statements. Do you, Janice? My closing statement would be this. Men need to hold themselves accountable for the shit that they do. Stop looking to blame everybody else for shit that you decide to do or for trauma and pain that you go through. Mm -hmm. We all deal with the shit, whether you're a man or a woman. And it's how you handle it. Yeah. 
So handle it accordingly, and things will work in your favor. I promise you. Think when you be, if you're a real man, when you get to heaven, God will let you know. All right. Well, I would love to thank everyone. Our page has been growing tremendously. Yes, thank Instagram, you for our new followers. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, you know, please continue to subscribe. I appreciate you all. Well, we appreciate you we all. We do, definitely. Um, I am Turquoise. You know, my sister Janice, me, and my mom Janice, we appreciate it. Please tune in uh, with us next week. We, you'll actually be able to see, to see us. <laughs> yeah, we'll show our faces next week. We've had some... We're, we're mixing it up. You we're know, mixing we're, it up. We're trying taking, new things. Yeah, we're trying new things. We're seeing what's working for others. We're going to incorporate that in our you know show to help us grow. And we appreciate the love. See you all next week. Bye.